Hello, my little bricklings. It's me, JS Bricks. I'm back. Hi. Um. So yeah, I kept promising I'd upload this. I never did, and now I've uploaded it. So here it is. Deal with it being late. It's my quick look at the Avengers Ultimate Quinjet, which I modified quite not a bit actually. You see, this is one of those few times where I think Lego just got it right with the scaling, the size, just everything. I mean. Even the solidness, the sol sol solidarity, that's a word. That That's definitely a word, solidarity, is it? Is that a word? Yeah, it's a word. Okay, that's good. Anyway, shifting back over to this. Um, the first thing I want to point out is landing gear. We're coming off the tripod. Horrifying. You can see the first bit we've got up here. It's one thing that this set was lacking, and I didn't understand why. But up here, we just have, like, two wheels here. They're not very good at spinning. But I'm going to use this more as a model anyway. And you can see when you do try to spin and they break. But here's that how that's built. Yeah. Really weird way of building it. Oh. Camera's dropped. Still here, guys. Just need to pop that back in place. Ta-da. And we're back. So yeah, that one come that they come off quite easily when I move them. That's fine. Bugger. Uh and back here you can see we just have two teeny tiny reels. Like that. There as you can see kind of held on by uh what's it? T studs? Yeah, T stud. They've got oh god, this is very confusing. You can tell I can't handle my phone outside of the tripod. There you go. Two studs. So, yeah. And you can see how that gives you a very, um... God damn it, the wheel fell off. You know, that's when all the wheels have fallen off. Give me a sec. Now the wheel's back on. You can see the uh, sort of elevation it gives you. It's pretty steep. Uh, let me just move this out of the way. There, you can see it's a pretty steep elevation. What is up with this phone and its focus? There you go. You can see it's a pretty steep elevation. Now sliding us back up here onto the tripod of safety. Uh, the second thing that I think is kind of important to note is something that I've been modifying with every set that has them is I've killed the str is I've um I removed the stud shooters and sold them on eBay. They're gone, and you can see where they used to be was about here. I've taken them off, smoothed it out. Uh, it looks better now, I feel. More smooth. And yeah, that was... that. They're the main exterior ones. There is one more. And it's back here. And I can show you what I've already done. Because... This is out. Taking this out. So now, when we open this... Of course, the wheel's fallen back off. Like I said, this is... Basically now a model. You can see, I've uh, cleaned up the gap there a bit. And, hello. Uh, fixed to the back here so there's no longer a gap. No longer that nauseating gap. And when you lower it down, you can see, it does the same. And there's none of that interior space being taken up by the god-awful existence of that side build. Also... Why does this wheel keep coming off? I do not MV levels. It's a very weak connection on my part. So you can see, yeah, that yeah, comes out nicely. You can see with the landing gear down again, it does give a pretty decent angle. Especially that ramp down like that. However, there is some interior space changes. So uh, we're going to take a look inside and see what they are. Now, the first thing I changed was in this area. I've actually um, plated this up more. Reason for that is when this is closed, you can normally see right the way through. And if we just clear out all the Avengers. Out the back. Avengers. You can see that you can no longer see all the way through that weird tunnel area. Unless you're looking through the door. So yeah, that's good. As you're sure, I pushed a crap ton of Avengers out the back. Now, I'll get to exactly how many this can hold in a minute. 
once I get the godforsaken. There we go. Heading back inside, opening up. You can see I've not made many changes to the actual proper interior. Although I've got four Black Widow, Mars Morales, Black Panther, and Hawkeye just chilling on the floor. Um, so not many changes to the actual interior part there. Along here, though, again, there weren't all too many changes to be made. I'm still glad this roof comes off so easy. So I didn't demonstrate in the last one. The, the roof does come off pretty easy, which I think is good to give some easy access. I'm not sure that was intentional. You can see down here, I've just cleared it out, opened up the space. And now we can see exactly how many it can fit. And I uh, just picked up something else because it's partially important. Now, um, is there any way we can angle this tripod appropriately? I think, yeah, here we go. This is a more appropriate angle. So, so far we've got one in the driver's seat, Falcon. One, two, three, four, five. Five figures. That's already more than it could originally hold. Like, straight up, this was just an improvement. Having four figures here instead of the three. However, back here now, although it's not much, I've just studied out the side, we can fit in mm, the joys of being a giant Ant-Man, um, Spider-Girl, if I can get my face back, there we go, and we can fit in, where is she? Ironheart, not Ironheart, um, Rescue there, and I think we're missing an Avenger. Huh, what are we missing? We're missing someone, right? Oh, apparently not. Ironheart. Good old Stephen Rogers, I guess. I could have swore I had Wolverine in here. Um, yeah, Stephen Rogers can sit just across from her. It's very hard to see in there because I can't get my head in the box, but there you go. You can see again, we've now got a total of eight Avengers, plus one in the doorway making nine, and Falcon in the front making ten. But, with some quick modifications, but I'm not going to do those modifications today, we're just going to slide it in there. You can still get the Avengers bike in there, pretty neatly. So yeah, it's not much room for a cargo, but it counts. And if you want, I reckon... If I wanted, I could stood out that area to have one last rocker figure. But yeah, for now, you can get all eight Avengers in there. Which is good, because that means you can have your Captain America, your Iron Man, your Hawkeye, your Black Widow, your Hulk, your Thor, and two other guests. You know, it's, it's good, it's decent. It's a nice improvement as you have way more options when it comes to figures. You know, and what figures you can put in there. Which is something I felt the, you know, the Quinjet's like their mode of transport. It felt like something that the original was missing. And I'm kind of glad I can improve that. Now, bringing everything back together. Oh, I feel like I might have missed something. Don't think I have. I think that's all I did in the way of improvements. Was space out the interior. Ah, uh, go back together. There we go. And we're going to put the reel on. And then we'll get to the end. And that, my friends, is that. That is the end of the video. Nothing has changed. Um, well, not much has changed, actually. It wasn't one of those things where I felt I needed to do a massive improvement. It was just a couple tweaks here and there. Some landing gear to make it look professional. Fixing up the gaps at the back. Adding a better interior. And just... Removing statues, which I have a personal vendetta against ever since I was a child and I nearly died after someone shot one in my mouth. Ooh, tragic backstory. Anyway, that's not true, I'm lying. Although I do have a reason to hate statues, you will never know why. Anyway, moving sparsely on from that, like I said, not much improvement needed. This set's almost flawless in my opinion, and it deserves a lot of praise. And I do think, like, the fig. It's not flawless, though. Like, the figures are trash, and the play features are trash. 
But the actual build is almost flawless, like I said, and it just needs some more praise and love. And then with a quick modification, boom, you got yourself. What I think is one of my favorite Avengers sets, although the Avengers Hell Carrier and um what's it called? Hell Carrier and oh yeah, Avengers Tower, they're on their way, and I recently got the um Hall extension. So yeah. Um but with that out of the way, I've been your most staggering and luxurious host. A JS Bricks. And uh, have a good one. Bye.